All right, guys. So I'm here with a. Uh, this is like the second two pack with Snake Eyes and Timber. I have the original as well. Um, I don't know. I was just kind of like, well, I'm gonna try this one out too, just to check it out. It doesn't look a whole lot different, but um, we'll see. <laughs> um, so basically, this is a cover. I actually seen this at Walmart, which you know, kind of weird. Usually, I don't see two packs at Walmart. Um, let's look at product shots here of Snake Eyes and Timber. On the side, this is number 52. On the back, we just get like a kind of a detail of what we're getting in the package. Get Snake Eyes, bunch of weapons. Um, let's see, sword and everything. I think the two pack one didn't have a sword. Maybe I'm mistaken there, but anyways. Um, and then that's pretty much it. So, really, all there is to do is just open this up and then check it out. Alrighty, so I uh, got everything here, and like I just want to show you just kind of how it comes out. Like everything's tied up. Once I cut these strings, timber just kind of slid out. So uh, get timber, which scope wise looks basically the same. Um, so there's that. Get snake eyes. You know, this is the first snake eyes I've seen that has like, a, you know, different colors and stuff, it seems like. Um, so kind of get like a mix of colors here, which I do like though. It's like, you know, gray, it's not just solid black. We get a little different. We get some like kind of army color pants, some gray and black mixed in there. Visor has a silver to it. You know, looks a little bit different, you know, still snake eyes, so it's awesome. But, uh, you know, get that. So put these guys over here and then we get the ammo box here, um, just like the other. Boxes, which I think is pretty cool. Um, let's see. Get this and get Timber's extra head. And then it looks like a bunch of uh, Snake Eyes and stuff in here. So, what's that? Let's see. Oh, it's weird. Like, they do some of these weapons, like, just in a baggie, and then they take some of the stuff and put it, like, in these little cardboard things. Uh, so, um, yeah, I don't get the point of that. So they just take one gun, and <laughs> put it in there like that, but oh well. Um, there's a sword. Let's see what we got in this one. It's like a, I don't even know what fell out of that, to be honest with you. Um, let's see some, some, uh, looks like we got a ton of weapons here. Um, so this might be a good two-pack just to kind of get some extra weapons too, you know, like, you may not need timber or another snake eyes, but like, you know, get some extra guns for your Joes, so it's pretty cool. Um, so, and then you got an ammo box too, just in case you want to put that stuff over, so. Uh, so it looks like that's everything, which is a lot. Um, this is what intrigued me is this thing right here. I thought this was kind of cool. And I was kind of curious what it would look like or how it would work on them. You know, like, uh, looks like it just kind of goes over. I'm trying to see on the box. Yeah, it looks like the long part goes in the front. I mean, I guess you could do it either way, but let's see. So it doesn't quite go over the head. Um, does kind of go over his grenades. So this bell piece here is, um, well, you can take it off if you want to. Um, but like this kind of goes over there. Sticks out a little bit and you can't really, uh, yeah. Eh, don't really want to tuck in either. It's not got like a whole lot of leeway. So I'm just going to do it like that, like down the package and just see how that looks. Um, mm, it's okay. <laughs> like, yeah, I got it on there. It's like, uh, put it to the side or something. Like, I wonder how it looks that way. You know, it's kind of just front or back, you know, uh, from the back, it's, yeah, it's gonna block this thing here. So, um, I don't know. I'm gonna bring the box over real quick and just kinda see how they did it. 
So yeah, it looks like you would have to take the belt off to kind of get a flush. Because I don't see any other way. So I mean, even on this side here, it's, you know, same picture, but... So, I'm going to try that real quick and just see how that looks, because I think I'm going to scoot that little belt off and do that. So, we'll see. Yeah, it looks better. Um, you can always just put that in the ammo box here for something else. It's still just kind of, I don't know. It kind of just floats over there and it still just kind of has like a bulkness to it that just makes it stick out a little bit. Um, it's not bad, it's just, you know, not quite what I was expecting, I guess. Um, anyway, so there's that. Um, and we got a ton of weapons down here. So let's get this back a little bit. I'm going to focus. Um, one thing I think is cool too is like you actually get alternate hands, and like I can't remember a GI Joe classified figure that has alternate hands. Period. Um, so you get this one that has like a uh, something on it. <laughs> Not sure what that is. He's just kind of like got his uh, hand up, like he's you know you're ready to fight. This one has a star with it, so it has a throne star actually molded into the hand. So you got that. Um, let's see. I'm going to start off with a sword. So this looks a lot like the original Snake Eyes um, sword and thing and everything. Except for I think all of his stuff was just black. So this one's kind of neat. That it's got like different colors to it. Uh, this leather piece right here has like kind of like a, a green to it. So that's really nice. Um, should just pop in here in the back really well. Yeah, so yeah, that's pretty good. Um, Try to think, a ton of guns. Like, it's just, you know, everything is solid black, but you get like a uh, crossbow gun. Um, and this piece actually spins around. I know we've seen this piece with something else. I just can't remember what. And if you actually want to, you can actually tie like a rope to there. It doesn't come with it or anything like that, but you know, it's an option. So, do that. Um, I was like, we get like a pistol, um, and usually with a pistol, there's like a, um, yeah, there's the silencer here, so you can actually put the silencer on there, and I think that was with uh, one of the Snake Eyes figures too, and let's see, so yeah, it goes on like that, and also too, you can actually put it in this holster here, so, uh, if you just want to do that, which I think I did with another Snake Eyes figure I had. Seems to go on pretty good. So yeah, you can do that. Also too, you get the black knife. So that goes in here. Um, try to think what else. So as far as the guns, like, you know, usually with the uh, GI Joes, you have enough compartments to hide all the guns or carry all the guns, but you know, this one obviously you're not. Um, so you just kind of have to like pick your battles pretty much. So. Um, so we do get this one, uh, that comes off, and we have an Uzi, which is kind of like his, you know, go-to gun. I've always liked Snake Eyes with Uzi. And then we had another rifle, um, or assault rifle of some sort, and you can actually put these silencers on here too, so, well, no, not that one, never mind. But I think you put it on the Uzi, maybe, but... That's that, and then we get um, timber. I actually really like this. It's like a, it's not solid white. It's like white and has like a little wash to it too. Kind of like a like a light yellow brown or something like that. Uh, I mean, to be honest with you, GI Joe's really knocked it out of the park with these figures, like uh, the pet figures like Fiona and you know the one that came with Crop Master and all that too. So you know, same thing here. Uh, we get something really good. Um, it looks like we have the alternate head, so get the angry face, angry timber, um, really did a good job with like the black around the mouth too, so that's good. 
the articulation is exceptional with this. Like you got like a, you can kind of move the head down about that far, move it up about like that. Um, this neck moves around too. Uh, so it gives you a little bit more if you want to. Um, you know, as far as the legs go, they have pretty good rotation here, have a bend here and here as well. And you even get like a, I guess like a, an ankle articulation here. And that's pretty much how it is in the back too. So you get like a lot of articulation. So you can do some uh, pretty impressive stuff with it. Um, I don't know. I don't want to say impressive, but you know, timber can walk to her stand. So yeah, and bouncing off the tail too. Uh, so the tail, you kind of got it either way. So, and it doesn't have articulation within the tail. It's just that part there, but you know, that's fine with me. So, um, I do want to bring the snake eyes I got out. I don't think, I know I have timber like the other one. Um, and I think I've got like the original Snake Eyes style. I don't have like the the figure that came with it. I've had some stuff in storage. So I'm gonna bring that over and uh, kind of compare them. So I'll be right back. All right, so I have these for comparison. Um, let's start with the timbers. So with the face, it's basically the same thing. Same mold, same face. Um, I feel like the black, they just kind of went around with it. So it's better. Thing there, but you can see the same scars, same eyes, everything like that. Um, <clears throat> same mold and everything too, which I mean, no complaints. I mean, it's not broken, don't fix it. So yeah, just a different color timber um, for that. Um, I'm kind of glad I've got this snake eyes for comparison because I feel like this one's kind of based more off this mold. Um, you know, just with a lot of the stuff here. I don't know why I have the knife backwards here, but I need to fix that. So this is the original uh, Snake Eyes that came out in the Black Series. Um, let's see. Maybe it did go in that way. I don't know. Yeah, my knife doesn't go in all the way for some reason. Um, there is like a looseness in the leg. So like this is... So if I do like this, there's like this looseness in the hips. Uh, nothing's broken or anything, but it's not as bad here, but I can kind of feel a little bit there. But um, anyways, so as far as the mold sculpt goes, it's basically the same, same belt, same attachments here, pants and everything. Um, even the mask is the same. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can see like the, uh, the ventilation in the mouth and the visor. Um... All that dust and everything too. Uh, even like the sword, so you can see like the uh, the grain here, it matches here. Uh, same thing here, which I wish they kind of put the red marks there a little bit nice. Um, so yeah, this is kind of what this is based off of. The one that came with this timber uh, was a slightly different mold. Um, even the grenade belt is yeah, pretty much the same. So you can see that too. Um, so there's that. Um, you know, for me, this is my third Snake Eyes and Snake Eyes is my favorite Joe. Um, you know, in a way I was kind of hoping to replace my, um, this Snake Eyes, but I don't think I can. I mean, just like the solid black. And uh, the thing that gets me is the hips. Like, it's just, I don't know. I think I noticed that from the start with mine. So I may one day look for a replacement for him. Um, you know, just some figures mess up. Like, one good example is I have uh, Havoc from that Polaris and Havoc 2-pack from, like, the 90s X-Factor. Yeah, I need to, had to replace him. He had, like, cracked foot or something like that. Just... You know, that stuff happens. Um, it just does kind of like a, a split. I don't know. Um, I do kind of want to see what this looks like with a throwing star. So that's his left hand with a throwing star. So I might do something different with that. Um, 
Let's see. I'm gonna do the hand. Since we actually got alternate hands, I might as well put them to use, I guess. So um God, it's so tight. It's weird. Um hmm. Dang, I don't know. That's like a really long peg in there for some reason, but there it goes. Well, it's not in all the way. Hmm. But let's see. Yeah, I don't really like that. I don't get that hand. I'm not sure of the purpose of it, to be honest with you. It's kind of like this little piece here that sticks out, but I don't. No, I was kind of hoping like I'd find a weapon that it would go with, but yeah, I'm not liking that. So I'm gonna go back with this. Yeah, it's weird. No wonder they don't do it like that much. Um, I'm trying to think. I think it's like a good pose for them. So. Yeah, I don't know, like with the throne star, like I'd, I kind of imagine like bringing it in a little bit more. Ooh. Like that maybe, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not a throne star expert, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, you know, for me, if I was gonna recommend it, like it's, you know, not worth, Pay an extra forty, forty-five dollars, whatever, to get this two pack to get like another snake eyes and timber, unless you're just got to get all the colors or something like that. But um, you know, it's still cool to have um, them. So I don't know. That's pretty much all I have to say. I mean, it's an excellent piece. Like snake eyes is the must-have. You're collecting GI Joe classifieds. Um, you know, having timbers a plus too. So you didn't mess out on like the first two pack or the original snake eyes or whatever, you know, it's definitely worth picking up. It's an excellent figure. Um, and you get like so much accessories and weapons and stuff. So, you know, it's just the plus plus there. So you, you kind of get your money's worth for 45 bucks, I guess. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much all I have and thanks for watching.